Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson, and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast, the podcast about the girl who lives in her father's dream. And sooner or later, she's going to figure out that there's a way out of her father's dreams. Anywho, season one covers her childhood, ages two to six. We are covering her entire life from birth to death, her entire heroic life. And right now, she lives with a father who dreams about adventure. Every time he comes there, almost every time, he dreams about a crazy adventure, and they go there, and she's been fighting bad guys from before the age of two, probably from birth. We don't know, because the Red Dragon is telling the tale, and she's only there from age two, where they rescued her. So um, we will find out what happened before age two, but not now. So they fight villains every day, and this time... We're going to do something about that, about that life. What is it like to grow up um, in a life of adventure, in a dream, and not know that there's anything else beside that? Also, there's a big part about um, the Squash Buckler Diaries being based on my kids, on my three kids, my three girls, and a lot of episodes are actually kind of a diary, set in a fantasy world. I'm, first, I'm going to tell you the story, and then I'm going to tell you what it's based on. And that might let you know how uh, an author's mind works, especially, uh, th this is like, <laughs> this is based on real life, except it can't be. So take a listen, and then I'll share with you how this came to be. Episode 123, going to wash that wand right out of your hair. Joy's age five, told by the Red Dragon. There's a magical wand in your hair. Dragonfather had finally decided enough was enough, and the Dragon Lil's hair had to get a good wash, shampoo, and comb. It's been weeks since Dragon Lil's hair had touched water, since Dragonfather trusted her when she said she did it. Now that he forced her to do it, he dug out a wand out of her hair. Dragon Lil looked at the wand in surprise. Are you serious? Dragonfather couldn't believe it. Are you serious? We looked for her wand for two hours. Without it, she had to step down from power. Dragon Lil made an innocent face and shrugged. What else am I going to find in there? Holy cow! He took out a gold coin. He showed the coin to Dragon Lil. We found that treasure a week ago. A week ago. How long have you not washed your hair? Dragon Lil shrugged again. Oops. Oops, huh? He continued to wash her hair with more vigor. Seriously, I mean seriously, he muttered to himself in disbelief. How could you not notice there's a freakish heavy gold coin in your... What? What? Yeah, my hand just touched something slimy, did you? What do you have in there? How could you possibly have something more in there? Where is it? He dug into the back of her hair searching. It's not gum, is it? What's gum? He muttered to himself again. Good thing there's no gum on a pirate. Why, yuck! He grabbed something, then slowly pulled it out. Yuck, 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 What, what is it? He pulled all of it out, disgust on his face. There was a small squid living in your hair. She opened her eyes wide. Ah, a squid living in your hair. How, 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 how did you not notice? Dragon Lil, eyes wider than usual, showing innocence, shook her head. When was the last time you were even in the water? Two weeks ago? Three weeks? There was an animal living in your hair for three weeks? Oops. Oops. Dragonfather put his face in his cupped hands. Oh my god, he sighed. That's it. From this point on, you will wash your hair every day. Doesn't matter if you're in prison or caught by an evil overlord. You will wash your hair 
Every day, Dragon Lil frowned. Dragonfather shook his finger at her. That's not going to work on me, forget it. Every day, and we will go back to putting your hair in a ponytail again. Every day, got it? Dragon Lil looked down. I'm not asking, you're doing it, got it? She nodded. Got it. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy Justin Ponytail. Uh, yes, this is based on real life. I was, you know, girls sometimes don't want, or boys, I'm guessing, sometimes don't want to go and shower. Sometimes they say they wash their hair and they don't, but that's not the thing. One of my girls, as she, she, as she was getting ready for a shower, pulled a pen out of her hair. She pulled a pen out of her hair, and I, I was shocked. And immediately my head was saying, this is great for the girl in the dream. This is great. She could pull the something in her hair. She could pull out a pen. She could pull out this and this and this and this and that. And that became the Squash Buckler Diaries episode. And even though this is a nice and funny story about Joy and also about her being in a ponytail, um, and also about, you know, her life and what her life is about, uh, this is the story of my life with my girls, and it's an album, and we're going to enjoy it 10 years from now and 20 years from now, when we go over this again, and we'll be reminded of the pen that was stuck in one of my daughter's hairs. So this is not just a story, it's an album. Anyway, more stuff about Dragon Little Joy Shelley. The girl in the dream, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow every day. Hope you enjoy it. Come back, come back tomorrow. Don't come back soon. Come back tomorrow. Catch up on all the episodes. Recommend to your friends, and maybe write a review about uh, um, the podcast. And now the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and, in fact, 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G U Y. H A S O N G U Y H A S S O N at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. <laughs> It's been weeks since Dragon Lil's hair had. It's been weeks since. Dra wow. It's been. It's been weeks since. Dra Die. Okay.